six months ago today, the storm hit. Mississippi was slammed. Louisiana's levees broke. The biggest natural disaster in American history changed the nation. It's six o'clock on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It's time for the Fox Report. They paid their insurance bills. Now they can't get their insurance payments. Six months later, David takes on Goliath. And we're live tonight in Diamond Head, Mississippi, a small town uh, with a very much of an aviation community that you, you may never have heard of. There's not much left of it as Fox reports tonight. There's still debris everywhere. And as you drive up and down this coast, that's the story as far as the eye can see. Our cameras have been out over the last two days to try to cover every area of this coast to give you an idea of not what it looked like three or four months ago, but what it's like a half year later. Imagine living in the middle of all of this for six solid months with another hurricane season three months away. And with the story from so many people as they cough through Katrina cough that they can't get their insurance money, that they paid their mortgage, they paid their insurance, they lived life right, they're trying to help themselves, and they're stuck with mounting debt and falling hope and little idea about what to do much. next. Six months later, many of the people who want to rebuild here along the devastated Mississippi coast are being held back by red tape. We spoke to a number of people today, all facing their own problems. One man forced by new zoning laws to rebuild at a higher elevation. One woman who salvaged her family's possessions only to have them stolen by looters. And another who closed a deal on a loan to rebuild her place but still hasn't gotten the check six months later. All of them have similar complaints. Here in Mississippi, property owners affected by Katrina now have more time to file their insurance claims. The state's insurance commissioner says he's suspending the deadline indefinitely. But here in Diamond Head and beyond, insurance companies seem to have differing opinions on what kind of damage will make them cut a check. Wind or water? Six months later, that leaves so many who've lost so much with so little and no funds to rebuild. Trace Gallagher reports tonight on Mississippi Coast. When Hurricane Katrina first came ashore, meteorologists say the winds blew for several hours. Then came the water, a massive storm surge. Six months later, a multi-billion dollar debate still rages along the Gulf Coast. Was the damage caused by wind or water? Bernard Smith says his home was destroyed by wind, and his insurance company agreed at first. They sent two adjusters out. They both say wind damage, right. and then what happens? And then about a month or so later, I get a, a call from a manager in Hammond who, who then says he's looking at a photograph and it looks like water damage. Now his insurance company refuses to pay, saying the policy clearly states that floods are not covered. And so if there's water damage, some companies won't pay anything. Others pick and choose what to cover. My opinion as a humble, independent insurance agency that went through this storm that lives on the coast, I, 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 can't, I, I can't look at a loss, one loss, that was contributed to by both water and wind and say none of that was due to wind or that none of that was due to water. Trutel thinks there's too much gray area, that lawmakers need to specify exactly what constitutes a flood. Others want more oversight of insurance companies so there are no future surprises. We're only asking that the insurance companies be fair. And to pay the insured what the insured thought he was getting when they contracted with that insurance company. Despite this whole wind water debate, a lot of the pain here could have been alleviated with flood insurance. But thousands of people up and down the Gulf Coast were told they didn't need flood insurance because they didn't live in a flood plain. The problem is, a lot of the flood plain maps in these areas have not been redrawn in decades. In Diamond Head, Mississippi, Trace Gallagher, Fox News.